Well, hi, everybody. The flu shot may soon be painless again, which would be great news for a lot of people. The CDC has once again approved the use of the nasal flu vaccine, the nasal mist, flu right? Mist, flu yeah. mist. It had been off the market for two years because of poor performance, and Dr. Malika Marshall is here to explain all of this. So, what happened? What changed? So, two years prior, they found out that it wasn't particularly effective. Mm. And so the CDC said, we shouldn't be using it, right? We want people to be yeah. effectively protected if against you're the flu. are going to have it, might as well work. Exactly. And so the manufacturer found out that it wasn't particularly effective against a certain influenza A strain. Mm -hmm. And so they claim that they have reformulated the flu mist and that hopefully it should be more effective. Now, this advisory panel to the CDC is not recommending the flu mist vaccine, which oh, would really? be a relatively strong yes. comment about next flu season, but they're saying it can be used as an option. So you can take it as an alternative. Exactly. If you don't really, really Or don't doctors want the shot. can offer it as an alternative. Because I know as the mother of a child with asthma, they usually say you gotta get the shot. They don't want the flu mist if a child, for instance, has asthma. That's right. So the flu mist really is only recommended for kids mm -hmm. starting at age two right. through adults age 49. Right, right, right. But there are certain people that should not get the flu mist because yeah. it's a live attenuated vi uh, vaccine. That means that the virus mm -hmm. is actually alive, but it has been weakened. Right. So it's not supposed to cause disease. Right. So we can see here who can get it. Right. So these are people who can get okay. it. However, people even in that age range who have, mm -hmm. for example, weakened immune systems or have asthma, for example, it is not recommended for those children. Right. Those people should continue to they get the should. shot. And do you think it's safe? It is safe. Yeah. It is safe. The big question is how effective how is effective it? Is and it that's why this CDC advisory panel is saying we can't yet recommend it because we need to see what happens this next flu season to see how right. effective this reformulated version is. Best thing though I ever heard you say was there's been so much reporting how this year's flu vaccine wasn't particularly effective against this strain of the flu, but you were saying getting the either the flu shot or the flu mist year after year does give you some protection. That's right. There was a study that suggested that there's a cumulative effect. So mm -hmm. if you get it every year, even though it may only be a 30% effective one year. Right. If you got it the year before and the year before that and the year before that, you probably are better protected. It's good to know. And one thing we're concerned about is that maybe there are some children out there mm -hmm. who are not getting vaccinated because they don't want the shot or their parents don't want them to get the shot and they would typically right. get the nasal vaccine. Then you can get the flu mist again. Then they can get the flu mist again. Right. But if you want my opinion going forward, at least for this next year until we figure out how effective the flu mist is, I still think everybody should get the shot. Still get the shot. Dr. Malika Marshall, thanks so much for more great medical information and all your news and headlines. Just go to cbsboston.com.